Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is an Acura NSX Type S. I'm gonna just keep it real with you guys. Uh, I f***ing love this car. It is one of my favorite new cars that has come out as of recent. The Type S, for those who don't know, was unveiled around a year ago and is the final edition of the NSX. They gave it 30 more horsepower, an improved transmission, more exotic styling. They only built 350 of these for the entire world. We're gonna go ahead and take it out for a drive and see how it compares to the standard NSX. Continuing the discussion on why the NSX is such an underrated supercar. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to see all my future supercar content, including plenty of car reviews to come, completely revised front fascia, which I think looks much better than the original, carbon fiber roof, carbon ceramic brakes. I always thought the shape of the NSX was very nice. Carbon side skirt, you have your carbon spoiler. I love this rear diffuser, it looks super aggressive. Carbon fiber engine bay as well, as it says here, the plaque. Number 238 out of 350, so not a special number at all, but uh, still nice to have that plaque. So with that said, let's go ahead and take it out for a drive. We're gonna start off actually in just normal sport mode. Very excited to test out an improved version of an already fantastic car. In my opinion, one of the most underrated and underappreciated supercars on the market. Three and a half liter twin turbo V6, three electric motors. Standard car makes 573 horsepower. This, 600. Zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds quarter mile and 11 seconds flat. Top speed is still only 191 miles an hour. I don't really know why. I don't want to say it's like the Scuderia GT3 RS version of the NSX, but it kind of is. I see it more of like an Evo for the Huracan. Okay, yeah. I see it more similar to that. A Scuderia or like a, a Speziale. It's a compared, really different car. Compared to a normal car, you can tell it's very it's stripped really out. Different. There's no carpets. It's very, this isn't really like that. I mean, there's more Alcan, there's a lot of actually, a lot of Alcantara in here some carbon on the steering wheel, Alcantara headliner, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Immediately, I can tell the transmission has been improved. It's a nine-speed dual clutch, and the shifts are just a little bit punchier, a little bit quicker. The handling on the standard car was already nuts. And this, I mean, I'm barely turning the wheel. And again, we're just in the default settings. And because of the electric motors, this is all-wheel drive. Ton of confidence going through bends. almost 500 foot-pounds of torque, and that torque is available at zero RPM. So it is immediate, which is part of the reason why it just pulls so hard. The heavier car, about 3,900 pounds, but because of the super quick steering, it doesn't really feel it. It really masks the weight. It doesn't feel like it's almost two tons. This one has the lightweight package, so you save like 60, 70 pounds, has a carbon fiber roof, carbon ceramic brakes. They're also brake by wire. I have pretty decent pedal feel. I will say though, the steering, not the most amount of feel to it. I mean, it's kind of numb. It's super accurate. Like not a ton of feedback or any kind of kind of robotic, but that's a lot of cars nowadays. That's not really anything. That's not just the NSX. That's, the paddles, it's weird because like, it doesn't sound very yeah. nice. They're kind of cheap feeling but they're like sturdy at the same time. They're even like the new R8, there's some bend. Ooh, kind of hear those turbos a little bit. It rides very nice, actually. I, I would compare it to almost like on the level of McLaren. It doesn't have that cloud type feel that maybe like a 720 would have. In here though, space-wise, I mean, I think it's relatively spacious. I see people complaining about that it's too tight in here. I don't really think so. Headroom, I think, is actually great. I have like about three inches almost of headroom. There's no... Yeah, that's about three inches of headroom. We're gonna put it into Sport Plus, which opens up the exhaust a little bit. This is a V6, so not gonna be the most inspiring sound in the world, but I do think it sounds better than a Nissan GTR. It's not really much of a, of a benchmark, but it, it, it does sound nice, I think. It, it's, it's an aggressive noise. It's a little bit louder than a standard car, which I appreciate. It's still too quiet, in my opinion. I mean, you can always change that. Uh, Fast speed exhaust or whatever sounds incredible. 
but definitely a bit beefier of a noise. Placing this car is very easy. Visibility, I'd say is, it ain't good. Front is fine. Side actually is a little bit limited because this pillar here sits kind of low, so you do kind of have to, you know, if you're a giraffe like me, you kind of have to. You have what? To my, my neck was hurting because I can't look out the window properly, so. Um, I mean, I mean, it is a quick transmission. It doesn't really feel any faster than the standard car. I don't really know. I don't think so. I mean, it's only 30 horsepower. It's not like a huge difference. But I will say it feels a little bit more visceral. And it feels more special because of the rarity. And the view out on the mirrors, these mirrors kind of stick out far. It looks cool with the flying buttresses. This spec just looks so good to me. So I, nice. I can't stop taking pictures of it. Every angle, everything looks so good in this matte black. It wouldn't look as good if it was just normal gloss black. The matte black is what really sells it for me. That front grill looks so much better too compared to the standard car. I think the standard car's grill is a little awkward, over styled. This is much more simple and just much more almost classic supercar look. This car definitely gets attention too. People think it's like a Lambo or something. Or I think it's like a... And then they see the Acura logo and like, they're like, no. No. Stop. I'm lightheaded. It's a great everyday supercar. It's comfortable. These seats, still, in my opinion, the comfiest seats of any supercar. They're really nice. Yeah. What are they? Big boy approved. <laughs> because it's a Honda product, it's gonna work. Things are gonna be, you're not gonna be breaking down during a supercar rally. There's no rear shelf. So, no shelf. You, know, you know, there's not much storage in here. The glove box, it's not like a nitpick. I'm just, they're just, I'm just noticing the details. I actually think it looks cool. It's like thick. Like it's it, like, I can grip that. It looks like the glove box was like stung by a bee or something yeah. and got some kind of infection. Anyways, um, back to the what, what matters. Jeez. <laughs> Throttle response, because of the electric motors, there's really not too much turbo lag. I mean, it. They kind of help fill in the gaps a little bit where there would normally be noticeable lag. The, the sound gets better and better the more you drive it. I think it, it makes a nice sort of, it is kind of deep for a V6. It shifts with like enthusiasm. It's not super aggressive or brutal like a Lambo, but it's not too smooth like that. R8, it's, it's a nice sort of middle ground yeah, where you, you can, it it lets you know that you're still shifting. I just think this platform's so underrated. I know the NSX, when it came out, when the new car came out, it was kind of, people thought it was too expensive. Right now in the used market, there's not many of these out there, because again, there's not many that were made. They're going for 250, 260 range, and that is a lot of money for an Acura. Question is though, is this a good or a decent investment? Not that you would buy this strictly for an investment, but I mean, no, are you gonna get your money back? Are you gonna not lose your ass? Standard NSX, those sort of tanked. I mean, those are going for like 130 now. So this is only 350 for the whole world. Is this going to tank as well? I don't think so. I do think they could have maybe added more carbon in here. Like all this silver material here, this should all be carbon. Uh, is there any carbon in here other than the wheel? No, they could have I think, added a little more to make Everywhere it a little silver. bit more special. Everywhere there's yeah. silver, if there was carbon, this interior would be insane. Engage, traction off. Of course, track mode, that's when everything's gonna be at the most intense. Ride is going to be the firmest, but honestly, it's still fine. I think it's still, rides great. Oh, oh, we're warming up the tires, aren't we? Oh, we're warming up the I tires. I mean, look at the slightest, just inputs yeah, to the not steering much, and it is just darting. Yeah. But I would say it feels faster than a 570S. It feels faster than a Turbo S, or yeah. previous gen Turbo S. To me, this feels more special than a 570S. Yes, 100%. And I'm talking the, the Type S, right? We're, we're done talking about the normal NSX Type S. Type S, I feel special right It now. feels special this because- This is one of the cooler cars we've been in. Yes, 100%. It's extremely rare. 300 came to the US, I think about 30 to Canada and 20 to Japan. <laughs> That's a good car. 
my stomach dropped. It's expected that the passengers drops. That's a normal. But when there's drivers that actually yeah, dropping, yeah. some like of it. the cars we're in, it feels like you're being chased. Like you're going fast, but you're kind of sporadic, and you're kind of like just doing whatever you can to get away. Yeah. In this car, it feels like you're the chaser. You're accelerating like that. It's Your just, mind, it's hard to process what's going on it's because just dumb. everything's just all fuzzy. If you become like hypnotized for a second. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys in the next one.